Hello Patreonos and welcome back to another beautiful episode of our Disney Princess Challenge. We are of course with Cinderella, the second of our Disney princesses, which means we are here in the Cinderella Chateau, owned by her evil stepmother, Lady Tremaine and Tremaine, <laughs> and her two evil stepsisters, although we're realizing one of them may not be quite so bad. Now, it's currently a Saturday evening in game. I really want to, oh, how did my game just zoom in without me then? That's so weird. I really wanted to throw a ball in today's episode, um, but I realized, one, it's Saturday at 11 p.m., so, you know, that ship kind of has sailed away. Secondly, I can only really invite a ball uh, with the sis the princess that the sisters already know, because Cinderella can't throw a ball. I think Lady Tremaine would literally just laugh, laugh ahead of that suggestion, and then yeet her into the maze, so we can't really do that option. I was checking out the sisters. Now, our sister that we know isn't quite as bad as we originally thought. Anastasia, who is currently sporting a pretty tragic black eye at the moment. She um, actually knows a few princes already. She has met both Kian, who is my favorite of all the princes, I have to say, and Edward, who is the cheekiest of all the princes as well. She doesn't know them very well, but she knows of them. She knows of their kingdoms and of their subjects, but she also very much, very much knows Grumpy, who potentially could, we could go down the whole baker route for Grumpy, if you guys, I, I, th I checked some of the comments. I think a few of you guys were worried that he would be related. But as I showed last time in the family tree, uh, Anastasia isn't even related to Cinderella's partner. Like these guys, uh, to Jay Huntington the third. Did I see Cinderella's partner? Let me start this again. Both of the mean sisters have a separate father. So Lady Tremaine has had two separate partners th to produce these two. And those two are also separate from Jay Huntington the third. So not only do these girls not share any DNA at all with Cinderella, because neither of them are Jay Huntington as children, but that means they also share no DNA with any of Cinderella's siblings, including Grumpy. Uh, and on Drizella's side, uh, she's the mean sister, and that's kind of showing at school because she's not really met as many princes. However, she has let Lys met Lysandre. So we could have... Oh, and Cinderella. Cinderella uh, has met Prince Alexander, who I used in my thumbnail in the last episode. That doesn't mean he's going to be the final prince. That's just the prince that he... Uh, the only prince that she has met. And Dad, you need to stop texting me. I'm gonna have to release the spirit to the other world because I, I can't keep getting texts from my dead dad. It's really weird. Okay, it's just no, just absolute no. Uh, so because it's pretty late on a Saturday evening, I'm gonna send everyone to bed. I feel like Cinderella's already passed out from exhaustion, from a whole day of doing washing and cooking and cleaning. And she has to do a whole day of gardening tomorrow. So things are pretty tough for her. It's also a Sunday. So I feel like the family will expect a beautifully gro home grown meal and probably baking for desserts as well. So with that, in mind. I'm gonna send the rest of the fams to bed because they need their sleep before eating a big huge meal tomorrow. Gee, ain't life hard for these guys. Uh, spoiler alert, no, they are spoiled. <gasps> Why is she saying woohoo with Jay? Jay's haunting us. Jay's haunting us right now. Where is he? She can woohoo with him, which means he's here somewhere. Like literally, he's he'd be haunting and sneaking around the house. Like I can't see him, but he must be here. He must be here. If he's available for woohoos, he's here somewhere. One thing I've also realized though is we have actually so much we can still explore in these grounds. We've barely even touched on how amazing the grounds are that she lives in, but I'm kind of feeling, is this, can you make a wish here or something? What is this area? This, it's got like a noise to it. Like, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's got like an eerie noise to it. And then this little pathway, I've never seen this part of the game before. Where is this going to? What secrets lie beyond the veil? I do not know. Floating trees and whatnot. What does this go to? Can you actually get up here? I can only get to here. I can't get any further than that though. So I don't know what secrets are unveiled here. There's actually a cute little uh, little camping area here. Maybe a place, a place you could sneak away with a prince without the evil stepmother ever finding out because she can find love with a prince um, while she is still living at home, while she still has the evil stepmother. She just can't marry him. Also, there's a full greenhouse here. I did not know we had a greenhouse here as well. Well, we actually got a lot of stuff. When you change this lot from a community lot to a residential, you kind of get a ridiculous amount of stuff to go along with it, which is kind of mad. Somebody did a painting here and everything. Like, look at that. You guys said that she would find the, e the fairy stepmother when she hit her lowest point and when she was at her weakest. 
against. So I kind of feel like we need something really horrible to happen to her in order to inspire that next bit of her story. Okay, I think we're gonna have to release this spirit because I don't feel like her dead dad is her uh, fairy godmother. I just, I just don't feel like he is, okay? In fact, just please up stop talking to him. Don't discuss fishing spots with him. He shouldn't be here, okay? He just shouldn't be here. You need to cook a grand breakfast for the family instead. Come on, Cinderella. They're starting to wake up. Honestly, I'm kind of getting mad with you at this point as well. <gasps> oh, and it's the first day of summer. Ah, uh, that means we should get like beautiful warm lighting coming along soon. <gasps> and Lucifer's eating. No, Lucifer, you're eating the breakfast I'm trying to cook. Stop that. No. Tell him off. No, Lucifer. I just spent ages on that and I can't even get to it anymore. Stop it. We're going to have to go and do all of the laundry. Hooray. All of this and it's not even 9 a.m. yet. Like, seriously. It's a hard knock life, okay? It's a hard knock life for Cinderella. Not for her sisters, though, who get a beautiful breakfast made for them every single day. Are you kidding me? Anastasia. Who's that sad eyes? Why are you sad, babes? Uh, don't forget that Cinderella introduced you to Grumpy after you asked, okay? She invited him back home from school just so you could spend some time with him. Please remember that kindness when we're in our darkest hour, okay? Look how far she has to go to the toilet. She's always desperate and she's got so far to go. Literally so far and Anastasia's just angry. It's like I only have a certain amount of time in the day before she gets tired and she spends so much of it just walking around clearing up after these messy little pups. The garden started today but I mean it seems to be growing really really well. <gasps> we have stuff ready to harvest. Okay that's awesome. We need to go and harvest everything so we can use it in cooking and I feel like things need water. Yeah things definitely need a little water in there please. But wow things are growing so well. What are you? I don't, I don't know what that is. A valerian plant. Oh these are the magic plants. I really not spend enough time to like get to know the magic plants. This is another reason I really want to go back to doing a witches series because I did not feel like I discovered all of it enough and I kind of really want to get back to uh, Nami and Nita. But oh my gosh, Anastasia just got a text from Baker Grumpy. What people think about you matters and I heard that somebody absolutely despises you now. It's making me question my own opinion on you. That will make her so sad because she likes him so, so much. Who who despises you? Oh, you, you really hate your sister. Maybe it will try and make her make things up with Drizella, even though I feel like it would be Drizella that caused the trouble in the first place. But Anastasia definitely has a good heart. So I feel like she, she will try and do... If people are telling her these are the things she should do to become a better a nicer person. I feel like she's gonna listen. I don't know where Drizella is though. Well, you've not moved all day. Are you actually this lazy? What is wrong with you? Oh my gosh. And Cinderella's gonna be so buff soon because she does this every day. Like, I, I don't know if I'm making this too hard for myself, but at the same time, it's meant to be rough. Like Cinderella's life is meant to be really, really hard. I think my next princess is Aurora Sleeping Beauty. So you give her the lazy tray and her life is not hard like it is for Cinder's. Honestly though, if I was getting really like erratic sleep hours, I was in a really hard hot room where I was sweating and like I was doing physical manual labor all the time my skin would be in the exact same position as Cinderella's. Why don't I get her, actually, since her fun is low? Why don't you take uh, Bruno on a walk? I feel like he'd definitely do well for a walk and it would get you out the house. And technically it's a chore, so it kind of makes sense. <gasps> and Snow White just sent us some money. Go buy yourself something good with that. I can't see the money, but thank you so much, Snow. I I'm gonna use the money that she sent to buy a one-time treatment for her skin. There we go. She's walking and she's got... <gasps> her fun's going up loads. Okay, this is great. And she's got a little skin pack on, which will be helping with her skin. In fact, she's feeling confident. Why did you just change to your pajamas? Honestly, our funds right now are 2,600. Rent for here is going to be really, really high. I just know it. Sorry, bills, not rent, because we do own the house. But the money situation is going to dry up. I feel like this dastardly woman would definitely be like looking for the next cash cow. So we're going to go and see if we can find him. And who is this dastardly friend that she set us up with? Oh, he's young. Oh, you guys already have a lot of romance together. I mean, do you guys know each other before this? I don't even know. I'm pretty confused right now. Is that Dopey? I think that's Dopey, isn't it? Oh, wow. I feel like we could steal this guy's money very quickly. I mean, this guy is actually kind of low-key a pure fool. You're looking like you're having a good time, Lady Tremaine. Tremaine, why don't you be our boyfriend? 
Why don't you meet him? Move in with us. Why don't you meet your untimely demise? Okay, he's our boyfriend and he doesn't even know if he likes us. <laughs> as a person. This date just going way too well. It's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. You guys haven't said one word to each other. Don't give me that. Can I end the date early? Uh, did he enjoy himself? Thanks for a great date. Talk to you soon. No, I need to add you to my household. Convinced to leave spouse. No way he's freaking married. He's actually married? Are you joking me? I just asked him to leave his spouse. Oh my gosh, this woman, Lady Tremendous convinced Justin to leave his spouse. This woman is freaking awful. You're like, guys, me, she what? She's not this mean. She's not this mean. She uses her dead husband's child as a slave. So, you know, nothing is off the cards at this rate. I am an only child. We're getting we're getting the background so we can work out. I am a parent. He does have a child. Okay, great. But we're trying to work out what the collateral damage will be if we did decide to kiss him. Okay, it's kind of soon. Soon, but I'm gonna try propose because we want we want the money. Okay, I should really have encouraged him to but is he actually gonna accept this ring? Oh my gosh, Dustin you idiot. You deserve everything you're about to get and I know what's about to happen <laughs> Ask to join household. This is what we want. Is he gonna bring money into the household? That's what that's all we need to know That's all we need to know. I like how we've literally just met this dude. And Oh my gosh. Look at the dude's suit behind us Wow, okay, Brooke you're gonna try. Oh my gosh 20,000. Oh my gosh, you have a baby child. <gasps> I need all the money. I'm, I'm sorry, but we're taking your family to the cleaners. They, uh, He's left his wife, Jade Brooke, and their child, Corey Brooke, with nothing because we're stealing him. Literally for one reason only, and that was the money, which means I don't really need you anymore, Dustin. I'm being the stepmother at this point because it's fun to be evil. I'm going full evil with the stepmother, which means I need to build a dungeon. <laughs> but I guess instead, we're just gonna have to go for the poison option. We're gonna go for a poisoned kiss just because I feel like that would be right up her street So she's gonna go ahead and kiss Dustin and then he I don't think I need to marry him to get anything more from him I already took all his money, right? I don't think I need to kiss. I don't need to marry him Plus we want to keep this on the down low and if we're married, it's way more obvious He's a senior manager in business. So death by poison it is poisoned lips error locked No, he will be dying. Don't take this from me. Why are you very much alive? You're meant to be dying right now Die Die, Dustin. No, stop kissing me. No, stop giving me the poison bar. Okay, I've tried updating MCC. <laughs> let's see if I can kill him now. I got some help from the guys on the MCC Discord. So, please, just let me let me poison them on. <gasps> what just happened? She kissed him into non-existence? Is that- I mean, he's dead, but she ain't sad, and we don't have a body. Okay, well, he's dead. We got his money. We can do our ballroom. That's good enough for me. Okay, you've done- you've done your part, Lady Tremaine. Very evil, beautifully evil. Wow, so spooky. You can go to sleep. Woohoo with Dustin. Wait, 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 wait. How, how? How? I can't even see. He's alive or dead body. Somehow you can woo woo with him. I it didn't let me build my evil basement of doom. And it didn't let me see uh, Dustin dying. Game, I, I feel like you're really not letting me reach my evil potential here. Like, what is the deal with that? And I also cannot for the life of me find the ghost of Justin. Dustin. There you go, guys. At least he's dead. <laughs> Thanks for the 20 Okay. While you guys sleep, I'll tell you what. I'll make up for your day of not actually getting your grand meal because I wasn't here enough by building you a beautiful, beautiful ballroom. I don't really know what ballrooms look like, so let's get a picture. This right here is what I'm thinking of when I think of a ballroom. It's this kind of jazz here. Is th Was there a Cinderella movie? How did I not know that there was a Cinderella movie? But something like this sort of get up here is what I'm thinking. Curtains along the walls. Really, you need like stairs to like announce yourself, but... I I can't really do that in the space I've got. Oh my god, frame rate. Get a hold of yourself. Three days later. Okay, and there we go. Beautiful ballroom. It's definitely missing something, but it might just be all the people, okay? Because I feel like they're a pretty important part of a ballroom, you know? You're meant to have loads of people in it. Tell you what, I'll put some hanging baskets on here, just kind of randomly, just for show. Just to get y'all in the, like, dancey mood. There we go. Ballroom ready for a ball. Hopefully that is gonna work. But there, we've now got a place to sit and eat. And also, Drizella can sing to you. Is she in there having a little dance? Oh my gosh, the dogs are so loud. <gasps> it is classed as like a dance thing. Oh my gosh, dogs. 
Calm it, please. This could be a good opportunity for a Cinderella and Anastasia bonding moment because Cinderella also knows what it's like to have a dad die. So she could go upstairs and talk to her about it. And Gisela is trying to steal Marcus Flex's money. Who is Marcus Flex? Who even is this person? Wait, why is there just a casual party happening here? Gisela has an awful reputation and these guys now despise each other. Oh, and Cinderella has collapsed of exhaustion. Bless her in the kitchen. Oh, and Snow White is wondering if we want to go to karaoke. But we're sleeping on the floor. And Grumpy is saying, do you want to come over? All of her family literally trying to reach out to her and she, she can't even do a single thing because she's just lying on the floor asleep from the hard work this family make her do. Even though she's super tired, just because she's a nice person, I know she would want to reach out to Anastasia, who, bless her, is also struggling a bit with her skin at the moment. And just be like, look, I know where you're coming from. I've, I've had the exact same thing happen to me. Let her know if she ever needs anyone to talk to then we'll be here for her because cinderella's a nice person she's a disney princess gang so even though it's actually raining a little bit the two of them are having a little stargaze outside looking up into can you even see stars no i said a cloudy sky you can't see any but they're imagining both their shared pain about losing their fathers in the sky together and i think since anastasia you know grumpy has said you should probably do a nice thing i'm gonna say that since anastasia anastasia is like gonna go ahead and sort her skincare with some daily treatments. She is going to offer to help Snow out. She's not giving her uh, daily treatments like she's getting, but she's like, you know, don't tell mom, but I'll allow you to have some weekly treatments just because you were so nice to me this evening. So I don't know if you can see, she's got a white mask on. The two of them doing a little mask together. I'm pretty sure Bruno, Bruno just ran across their faces. Oh, no, it was Drizella. That sounds exactly like something she'd do. But a little bit of a sad bonding in the rain with Anastasia's little tears in her eyes, proving that maybe she's not so bad after all. And it's another day. I am going to do the ball this evening. It's going to be a midweek ball, so it's not going to be a really late crazy one. More of an introduction to royalty for our two uh, society girls. See if any of the princes probably catch Lady Tremaine's eye in order to marry them off with their daughters more than anything. Uh, the girls are heading to school, but Cinderella can't go to school until she finishes doing the laundry for everybody this morning. So she's got a little while to wait. We also have to pay our bills. Okay, let's definitely do that because we want to keep power. So there we go. Cinderella's getting told off by the prime, min the prime minister <laughs> by the principal again. Grumpy's still trying to reach out, but you should be at school as well. And honestly, she's getting pretty close to dropping to a B student. And oh my gosh, Anastasia wants to invite over Grumpy. She definitely wants him to come to the ball. We can't invite Dopey into this madness. And the principal is calling as well. Awesome. Oh, we've met Nikolai. Okay, we've actually met a lot of princes now, so I think it's definitely time to do a ball. And the principal called to say my school performance is shaky. If I'm not careful, I could drop a grade. Poor Cinderella. She was an A student before as well. The entertainers are going to be the sisters showing off their skills, but these are going to be Cinderella's roles, so we don't really need somebody for that. And obviously, we're going to have it here. So let's get everyone inverted round. Drizella, you're gross. Please immediately go and get yourself a bath. Oh, Grumpy is getting into this one. Kind of weird. And oh my gosh, Cinderella, You've got your work cut out. You can't have this all going on whilst we're having a ball. So you're going to have to get to work in here and repair everything. And then when you've finished repairing everything, you need to cook a grand meal and then bake us something special as well, like blueberry bagels. And Anastasia has got her dress on. Okay. <laughs> princes be arriving topless. Uh, oh, wow. A lot of princes be arriving very topless. It's because I need to make them. I've only got one outfit for everyone. So I need to change them all to their first outfit, please. Oh, actually, Prince Alexander has outfits for every occasion. And I have to get my girls introduced to absolutely all of the princes. Poor Cinderella is literally just repairing everything. Okay, so Anastasia's down here socializing with two of our princes. Th I can see three princes. Four princes! Princes be everywhere right now. And she, oh, oh, wow. That one just nutmegged by Lucifer. And I just need everyone to get introduced so I can add everyone to a group and we can start doing, I don't know, princely things. Oh my gosh, guys, please don't eat this disgusting food. No, we've got nice food for you later on. Get rid of this. You don't want this. Meanwhile, poor little Cinderella's in here just baking and cooking away, ready for everyone. Oh my gosh, Grumpy came and set the table. Oh, he's so freaking cute. I forgot that he does that all the time because I maxed out his child stuff. So we got fish on the table here and we got these guys in here. Ooh, Lady Tremaine has decided to sit with Prince Christopher. Uh, she clearly likes him the best of all. Um, 
Bond. Who else is chatting with you here? Oh, um, Anastasia's too sad. She's just crying instead of chit-chatting with the other princes here. This is the Gaston prince. This is the cheeky prince. And this is the prince with the most lands of all. Probably the most established prince. Maybe even a king. And Anastasia, uh, sorry, Cinderella has finished her blueberry bagels. So I can pop um, the bagels up here, ready for everybody to eat. And then she will have to come upstairs and tend the bar, I'm afraid. Everybody does seem to be enjoying the food. Oh, the bagels are poor. Oh, you're gonna get told off later for that, Cinderella. But the fish is excellent. So people at least like that. And like, everyone's having a dance. I like how Grumpy is somehow like squeezed himself into this party. Bash Flatter, I can't come out with you right now, I'm afraid. But yeah, he's somehow made it to the party. I don't really understand how, but he has. Also, Lucifer has somehow made his way to the party as well and is eating my bagels. It's fine. The trash, but still. And I am sort of noticing that since Cinderella became the bartender, the princes have kind of started floating over this way. I'm just saying. Well, there's no reason why she can't chit-chat with people. Well, I see no reason why she can't chit-chat with everybody. So, she's saying hi. I mean, of everyone here, you'd definitely be the most excited about talking to Cinderella, let's face it. And since this prince is meant to be like the the one with the most lands. Oh my gosh, Anastasia just gave a rose to Grumpy. Uh, I'm gonna get her to try and get in with him. Although look at this, she can't resist insulting him. Like, literally, this is the prince she wants the most and she's still insulting him. What did she just try and do? Giselle Huntington is trying to steal Alan Charming's money. Like seriously, these are the princes you're meant to be trying to marry and you're stealing from them, Gisela. What is actually wrong with you? I don't even know. Okay, the good thing is the fact that she was bartender it means she actually now knows all of the princes. She's having an ambitious conversation with Kian at the moment. Oh, is he coming to come and sit by the bar? He's coming to come stand by the bar. Oh, he was. He came over and looked just for a sec and now he's off again. Great. Oh my gosh, Anastasia wants to kiss Grumpy. If she does that, her mom is gonna actually kill her. I don't think the mom saw her dancing with him, thankfully. Because she, she probably doesn't, like, if she even knew Grumpy was here, maybe she's for some reason allowed it, but I do not think she would like it. And I'm gonna pin this because I do want want her to kiss Grumpy, but right now she's just too sad about everything. Okay, as apparently as part of our party, we have to eat cake. So as much as you seem to be enjoying chit-chatting with- I feel like this Prince Alexander is very interested. He's been around the bar the whole night just for, for the chance to talk to Cinderella. But I have to go make cake, so I'm gonna have to give up on attending the bar so that I can go downstairs and make everybody a cake, because apparently that's super important. So I've sent her downstairs to go and eat cake. Well, cook cake, so that four people can and eat cake. And I've just noticed that Kian left to come down here and try and play the organ. Okay, maybe we can give him a jokey tip. Oh, look, she's she's come to come tell him off. Oh, no, she's come to come pay him. Okay, did not expect that, but whatever. But the cake's gonna take a little while to cook, so while it's cooking, why don't we come out and have a little chit-chat with him? As you guys know, he is my favorite prince, so I kind of want her just to have, like, a quick a quick chit chat with him. <gasps> How did you just do that with the door? I don't even know. Okay, so she could be like, interesting cello. Uh, not cello. What's this thing called? A organ playing? Look how cute this boy is. Like, literally, this is why I like this prince. Look how freaking cute. So she's getting the chance to chit chat with him just purely because he's broken away from the ball upstairs as well. He seems to not like it very much either. Oh my gosh, Drizella's so freaking angry. Like, so angry up here. But everyone else seems to be having a pretty good time. And Drizella has gone through a mean phase, seriously. She's already so super freaking mean. But their loss is our gain because we get the chance to chit chat and get to know Lil Kian a little bit better. However, I am aware your cake is still in the oven. At least I thought it was. Oh my gosh, where is it gone? You have to get back to your cake or else you're gonna get told off. But nice chit chatting with him. A little bit of one-on-one -on -one time there. Although her favorite prince currently is... Ah, uh, you know what? It is actually him. He's her favorite right now. Okay, Kian is now the favorite prince. The prince that was promised. Oh my gosh, and the cake was there. She did actually do the cake. Okay, now we have two cakes. At least I don't have to bake a cake for the next uh, bowl. And we can finish off the party with a nice cake for everyone. And Cinderella, I kind of feel like you need to come upstairs and clean up once everyone's finished, I'm afraid. That will be your final chore of the evening. And she's just eating a little sugar cookie that she kept in the fridge, bless her. And you've got a toilet to clean before bed as well. The poor thing. And yep, Cinderella's off up to come and clean up after everybody. Whilst they finish their party fun, as, as someone weed themselves, that's kind of disgusting, but okay. And I'm gonna end the party there. This party has gone on to almost 5 a.m. in the morning, 
What was I saying about a midweek ball? Let's not make it go too crazy. They did get a silver medal, so that's pretty amazing. I think the fact that the girls didn't try and sing or play violin for them is probably the biggest win of all. And we got a nice little chance to chit chat with Prince Kian one on one. Maybe he will invite us out afterwards, but we also met a whole host of other princes. Can I just point out? She must have chatted with Nikolai. Uh, she didn't really get that much chance to chat with uh, Lysandra, Christopher, or Edward, but she did chat a little bit with Prince Alexander because he was at the bar. And apparently she chatted with Gaston, Prince Aaron as well. So we got a few little princelings underneath the belt of chit chats. We are now mopping at 5am in the morning ahead of school tomorrow, but all in all, I'm glad she at least got to meet her prince. And also, if- Oh my shit, he's still here. He's still here. He's still here. Stop, stop, stop. He might want to say bye. Okay, you actually get to say goodbye to him. Okay, that ended really, really nicely. And she's actually feeling confident. Although, why do my sims keep taking Wonderland pills? It's really, really annoying. But you are going to finish. Please finish cleaning up, Cinderella. Please do not invoke the wrath of your uh, family. Oh, wow. Okay, Drizella, even though she is beaten up and has a black eye, she... She actually got on really well with Gaston. How did I guess that she would actually get along best? How did I not guess even that she would actually get along best with the prince that's meant to be like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast? But she did, which is pretty amazing. Stop taking Wonderland pills. And for Anastasia, the night was very much still clearly about grumpy. Even if she did actually have some nice chats with the other princes. She kind of likes Kian as well. Okay, that could be awkward. And Cinderella's clearing up. But honestly, being the bartender kind of worked out quite well because she was almost like a fly on the wall to all the princes. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Please let me know what do we do next. I kind of feel like Cinderella shouldn't be able to invite people to uh, the house because it's not her house to invite them to. She is just kind of there as their maid. But maybe if she gets a call from a prince, that's different. And also if she does get a call from a prince, we now also have a little secret meeting place as well that she could take in without anybody else even knowing. So, fingers crossed some of the little prince things get in touch the next episode. Uh, I hope you like the story we're going with Anastasia and Drizella as well. Drizella kind of making up her own story, but I actually fully back it. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!